Hey Mouse Gang, today I'm at UTRGV Edinburgh campus and I'm going to be asking people who they voted for. Hi, my name is Cindy and uh, I voted or I wrote in in the ballot for Claudia de la Cruz because I love her uh, uh, her policies. She is an actual candidate for presidency and I love her foreign policies, I love her economic, uh, her economic policies and I love the way that she actually explained how, uh, how she's going to affect the, uh, the taxes and everything. I just really love the policies that she wrote out. So that's why I vote for her. Hi, my name is Cassia Valdez and I'm voting for Kamala Harris. Why? Um, because I want to be able to have an abortion if I ever need one. And I don't want my rights taken away as a woman. Are you voting? Yes, Who'd you I vote am. for? Donald Tell Trump. Us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about him? Um, I think he was a good president from 2016 to 2020. He stopped uh, a lot of immigration. There was 10 million under Kamala, and there's very little under uh, Donald Trump. He had the lowest percentage in a long time. I know that. Um, people say it's respective on, on women. Uh, it's very wrong, and I believe that's honestly not the correct thing. I think he is trying to protect women uh, by not keeping the immigrants, or trying to stop immigrants from coming, which are sex trafficking, raping women, and sexually harassing them. So I think Donald Trump will be a great president once again. Hello, my name is Diego Hernandez. Did you vote? Uh, yes, I did vote. Who'd you vote for? I voted for Donald Trump. Um, why do you believe in the policies that he upholds? Uh, because I honestly think he's a good president, and yeah, I think he'll make a um, America great again. What do you think about like Trump haters? Honestly, they can say whatever they want, but it's all in the facts. So we know that he brings good to the country and Kamala steps up. Hi, my name is Robert Perales and for 2024 I voted for LeBron James because he's the best of the best and you know he's the best. And I know he can keep everyone in check because he keeps his team in check. Come what on. do you think about Bronny? Bronny? Oh my god, Bronny's so lucky to get spanked by his what? Uh, Bronny is like super cool, you know, you know he's also in the NBA now, so I like to see that happen, you know, once they make it with another ring. Did you vote? I'm about to vote. Who are you gonna vote for? Gonna vote if for you Trump. feel comfortable. Trump. Okay. Why do you believe in his policies? I believe in higher economic freedom. That's okay. why. Anything else that stands out to you from Trump? Uh, not really, no. And what do you it's say to the Trump haters? Thing. Sorry? What do you say to the Trump haters? I say you can hate whatever you want. I don't care. I'm not going to defend anybody. If you hate him, just make sure you have like a good justification, not just because you saw some ultra video online. Just try to have like an elaborate opinion about that. Any opinions for people who voted for Kamala? No. I mean, it's nice. You can vote for whoever you choose. I'm Dad. I'm Jose. And I voted for Kamala. And I also voted for Kamala. Why did you guys vote for Kamala instead of Trump? I don't like Trump. I don't like what he stands for. I don't think that he has things to back up what he says. Um, I voted for Kamala because I like what she stands for. She stands for women's rights, which is something that should be prioritized. prioritized sorry. Um, I just, uh, I love what she stands for. I love what she has to say. I'm a Democrat also, so that's why I voted for Kamala. And what about you? Um, I voted Kamala because, I mean, when you look at it, I just feel safer with her as president than Trump. I mean, I feel like Trump really just focuses on economy instead of people's rights. And when people's rights are like, aren't like the issue, then I feel like we should focus on that instead of just like, what, the economy. So that's why I voted Kamala. Yeah, I think voting blue is the right choice. Might be my opinion, but if you're smart, you vote blue. After viewing both candidates and trying to see both sides, I just think Kamala Harris has a better structured plan than Donald Trump. I think the only thing Donald Trump is bringing to the table that people are looking at over Kamala is economics. However, I feel like his plan for the economy isn't as good as people think. I think the tariff plan is going to actually do worse for the American um, economy by making us pay more stuff for things that we were getting already pretty cheap 
from like other countries. And then on Kamala's side, it's I admire the um, focus on healthcare, especially for women. I admire the um, the aid she's giving to the middle and lower class, especially with like first time home buyers and all those things. So I just think she has a more structured plan. And back to the Donald Trump side, I don't mean to just criticize him, but another thing I really don't like from him is his plan for migrants. And I just think, I think it's dumb. Like why are you gonna get rid of more workers for you and your economy if that's what you care about? It, I, I just don't understand it. I was, um, I will look into it more, but the facts that I know right now leans makes me lean more towards Kamala than Trump. Uh, yo voté por Trump. And why Trump and not Kamala? Porque ha tenido una buena economía en Estados Unidos y es lo mejor para el país. What do you think on, uh, about his policies on immigration? Pues yo siento que lo hace por su país, no hay que ver por otros países y sí, México ha invadido demasiado a Estados Unidos, pero pues es lo mejor para Estados Unidos. I already voted. I voted in the early elections um, a couple of days back, but I voted for Kamala Harris. Um, I think she just has a plan and her policies is something that correlates with me, not only as a woman, but as a minority and as someone who is um, with someone who is also part of the Latino community. And I just think it's really important to emphasize on wanting change and simply not being in office with a heart of hate um, because I think that's essentially what it is, hate. Um, not only towards the United States, but to a lot of communities, a lot of minorities. I don't think that there would be any problem solved if we had Trump for another four years, and I really hope that's not the case. Um, but yeah, I, I'm rooting for her. Hopefully she can be the first woman president, and hopefully we can make some change for good. Um, honestly, politicians, it's a very, you know, not everyone's a great person, but if you have to choose between one candidate or the other, please choose humanity and being a good person. Okay, so as a voter, I voted and you voted. Um, do you believe that your vote counts? I believe it does count. A lot of people like to say that it doesn't. And, you know, if all the little grains of sand in the world said that it doesn't count to be a little grain of salt, we wouldn't have beaches. So it definitely does count. Even if you think, oh, it's just me that's not voting, it's just my vote that doesn't, that's not counting. No, like, if a lot of people are saying that, it, it adds up. You need to go out and vote, your vote counts, everyone votes counts, and if you can, drive people to the polls, tell them, be here, be squared, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna drive you, and take them to the polls to vote. Did you guys vote? Yes, I voted today. I voted last week, last week, I think. Okay, <laughs> um, do you believe your, your vote counts? 100%. I think it's it's very important to always tell yourself that your voice matters and I think complacency is when you refuse to acknowledge that you have any power and that is where things can take a really bad turn. Okay. Um, would you guys be comfortable sharing who you voted for? Uh, I voted for Kamala Harris. So did I. Okay. Um, what stands out to you about, you know, her policies or what she stands for? I think the, the biggest one is being pro-choice for me as of right now. I think that is something that's affecting a lot of people today. And I was just reading an article of how an 18-year-old girl passed away because she had a miscarriage and her doctors refused to give her treatment because they didn't want to get in into, into any legal trouble. And I'm an 18-year-old girl, so I can't... I can't imagine the lack of power and how scared she must have been before she ultimately lost her own life. I can't imagine. Um, what would you say to anyone who's, um, you know, voted for the other candidates? I would just hope that they're, what they believe is what they truly want to see in the world, not just... Um, seeing it as like a surface level, uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but to actually really check the differences and hope for the best. I think the only thing that I would want the most when it comes to voting or even just the difference in political parties is that we always try to take a stance that comes from understanding. 
Um, I think the political parties are becoming really diverse and polarized in a way that'll make us a lot harder to try to get to understand each other. And I don't think that's right at all. Um, I mean, divide, divided and polarized. Are you gonna vote? I'm gonna vote within an hour and 10 minutes. Do you feel comfortable saying who you're gonna vote for? Yes. Go ahead and say it. Uh, I'm gonna be voting for uh, Trump. Okay. What do you like about his policies or what about like he's, what he stands for and stuff? Mm, I really like his border policies, his economic, his, his economic plan, sorry. Um, where he stands on abortion and um, fracking. And what would you say to anyone who's choosing to vote for the other candidate? Um, I respect them, just, you know, Trump's better, in my opinion. And you should probably change your vote. Any other thing to say? Um, go Trump, make America great again. Okay, are you planning on voting? No. Okay, if you were to vote, who would you vote for? I'd vote for... Uh, Chase Oliver. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who's that? Like an influencer? No, he's a he's a candidate oh. that's running. Oh really? Yeah. But like he's like not that known. Mm. He's like just on the low key. But he's running. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? Um, love yourself and be yourself. And that's all. <laughs> okay. Did you vote? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Who'd you vote for? Um, I'd like to keep that uh, private. Okay. Me too, me too. Completely respectable. Do you guys think your vote counts? I do, to a certain extent. Um, I definitely think that the electoral votes um, count more, like have like a heavier weight, but I do think every vote does matter and count. Okay, and what would you say to someone who's like trying to gather information about who they should vote for? I know that a lot of times we might not know who to vote for. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Um, I would say um, just look at it from a, like, non, try to be as non-biased as possible. I know there's so many different um, news sources like CNN, Fox, and, like, there's definitely more of a Democratic side and more of a Republic side. So I would say you see, have to look up yeah, facts see, about see it. all of it and then just go to as many, like, I guess, social media outlets as well because there's also news people who have to say just facts. So I would say just research as much as you possibly can, and then from that, then I think you can gather your own opinion from it. Um, but definitely just go in with an unbiased opinion. You have to be open-minded about yeah. everything. Even if you think like, oh, like, oh, because like they're Republican, or just because they're Democrat, like I'm just gonna pick them, but you really don't have to. Mm -hmm. You have to be open-minded about every single thing, because one thing can change your whole perspective. Yeah. And it doesn't, and you don't even have to be like a certain party. Like there's certain policies that maybe certain parties um, have better ideas than another party. That's totally okay. Um, but yeah, like she said, just be open-minded and just do as much research as possible if you have time before you vote. Yeah. Okay, do you have anything else to say? Um, just do, just try, I, I, I think the biggest thing is just go in with an open mind. Um, don't hate. Don't, don't hate. hate and respect others' opinions. Yeah. Because this is, you know, the land of the free. You know, everyone is entitled to have their own opinion and entitled to feel how they want to feel. And if they want to express that, that's totally fine. Just respect it. If you don't agree on it, it's totally fine. Just if you don't have anything yeah. nice to say, then don't say it at all. Yeah. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Yes. And that concludes our video, Mouse Gang. Thank you so much. Add a comment down below if you had something to add to the conversation. By the way, who I voted for is. Hey. Are we gonna get food? Um, did you know today's election day? Duh. Yes. Oh, okay. I voted. Wait, you did? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm kind of hungry. Let me. Um. What are we getting? I mean, there's really not much to choose from. There's only like two options. Girl, so we gotta different. vote. We gotta vote. All right, let's what vote. do we vote on? Chick fil A or boba? I don't know. What do you think Kamala would get? I don't know. What do you think Trump get would get from Chick fil A? Like 50 chicken sandwiches? Uh, <laughs> 